What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Five Wars Deke, and we are back. Took a little bit of a break because, well, we got eliminated. That's what happens. When you get eliminated from the playoffs, your season's over, and you gotta wait until the Pro Bowl. And that's what I did. Spent some time with family. I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving with your family, but also, my heart is with you um, if the holidays are tough. I understand that everybody doesn't have family to be around on the holidays. So I don't want to dismiss that. So my heart is with you if you are in that group. But um, yeah, got eliminated by the Colts. The Indianapolis Colts beat us in week 17 and the wild card round back to back weeks to get us out of there. And that was the end of Solomon Daniels fourth season in the league. However, we've got one more game to play because look at these numbers, 50 tackles a career-high three sacks, a career-high league-leading 20 yayerts, a career-high 10 interceptions, eight pass deflections, did allow a career-high 11 catches, he tied a career-high with two forced fumbles, and tied a career-high with two fumble recoveries. Solomon Daniels is your NFL defensive back of the year with all those numbers and five pick sixes. That is an NFL record. Five pick sixes in a single season, never been done in NFL history until Solomon Daniels took the field. All of that has sent us to Hawaii for the third straight season, second season with the AFC. Let's do it, baby. It's the Pro Bowl 2011. As we begin this game, the Kansas City Chiefs have won the Super Bowl. The Eagles are no longer the kings of football. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Michael Hanley, my brother, you were the only person to pick the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl, so you are the first giveaway winner. You will receive a Solomon Daniels jersey as Donovan McNabb takes off for the NFC. Your starters for the NFC on offense. Donovan McNabb, obviously the quarterback. Brian Westbrook is the running back. Deion Branch, Plaxico Burris, and Reggie Brown are your receivers. Bo Scaife is the tight end. This is second and 14 at the 24. The give is to Westbrook, and I think he went nowhere. Third down is coming up. Here are your defensive starters for the AFC. Tiny Wind is at left defensive end, Tiny Wind. Right end, Mario Williams, defensive tackle, a Bronco, Gerard Warren, next to Jeremy Farr, Sean Merriman, at outside linebacker, Andre Davis is your middle linebacker, Adelius Thomas is at outside linebacker as well. Your corners, Champ Bailey and Dominique Foxworth, as this pass is caught by Burris for a first down. Namdi Asamoah will line up in the slot. Solomon Daniels, obviously, is your free safety, and next to him at strong safety is Kerry Rhodes. First and 10 for the NFC at the 37. Throw quickly intercepted Dominique Foxworth. Just like the Broncos were doing all season, getting picks. Starting on offense for the AFC, Tom Brady at quarterback, Willis McGahee the running back, Dante Stallworth, Andre Johnson, Reggie Wayne at receiver as Brady is sacked. Sheevan Mays is your tight end. The backups, Peyton Manning will back up Brady, as will Chad Pennington, Ronnie Brown, and Lawrence Maroney will be at running back. Lee Evans, Jericho Cotchery, Chad Johnson will be at receiver. That is a catch for a first down by Reggie Wayne. Eric Gonzalez and Todd Heap will be the backup tight ends. Got a star-studded cast for this Pro Bowl in 2011. Star-studded cast, McGahee going nowhere. Now, believe it or not, believe it or not, this may be the last time we see Peyton Manning or and and or Tom Brady. And I'm serious. This may be the final time we see Tom Brady and or Peyton Manning in superstar mode. Both of their contracts expire after this game. They will both be free agents. They will. Now here comes the brother that kicked the game-winning field goal for the Chiefs. And he knocks this one through. 
I honestly can't believe the Eagles lost. But what makes me more upset is that the Super Bowl champs are in our division. Nope. That's not how we do things. That's not how we do things. You know better than that, Donovan. You know better than that, bruh. Daniels was second in the league with 10 interceptions, and everybody knows that. Yet you threw his way as Brady finds his man inside the five. I sincerely hope the Broncos sign either Brady or Manning. I've said it before, Jay Cutler's contract has also expired. So Jay Cutler is a free agent. If Manning and Brady are on the market, give up the money and send them to Denver. Just, just cough it up. I don't, I don't care what the price tag is. Resign Solomon because Solomon is also a free agent, but he's gonna come back. But get you a quarterback. That, that wasn't a touchdown? I can't believe that was not a touchdown. Here comes Justin Medlock for a chip shot field goal, and it is good. Oh my goodness, the AFC is all over y'all right now. Brady has his man deep. It's a touchdown AFC. Now one thing you may or may not know about me is that I actually cover Tom Brady. That's part of my job. I cover Tom Brady for a living. I live down here in Tampa Bay, and as a sports reporter, the Buccaneers are obviously a big deal, so they get a ton of coverage from me, so I spend a lot of time at One Buck Place and, and I talk to Tom Brady. And even though I'm a Falcons fan, right, like I'm a Falcons fan, I, I completely understand the history between Brady and the Falcons, and I don't like to speak about that. But even with that, I can't help but to respect Brady, and that is intercepted! Sean Merriman! But as I was saying, as Brady once again takes the field, I can't help but to respect the guy because he's incredibly nice. Like, he is a really nice person. He's not difficult to talk to. He's not difficult to be around. He's not uh, a jerk. Like, I, I think a lot of people, because he was on the Patriots, just assumed that he was kind of like Darth Vader and he was working for Bill Belichick, who would be Palpatine. But he's not like Darth Vader. He's really not. Like, he's well-mannered, and he's really nice. Um, I, I have no personal problems with Tom Brady. I just don't like what happened in that one Super Bowl that I pretend never took place. Other than that, he's actually pretty cool. Touchdown, AFC! That was Brady to, I believe, Lee Evans for that score. And we are clapping the National Football Conference. We are now in the second quarter here in Hawaii. This will be Solomon's final quarter at safety. After this, Bob Sanders will come in at free safety and Solomon will be on special teams. Westbrook, that's a good gain up the middle. Come on now, that's too easy. Too easy. And this kick is good. A Yeager and a fumble in the Pro Bowl. It's recovered and returned to the 35. I'm not even going to cap, y'all. I just broke my promise. I did. I always said Solomon would not Yeager in the Pro Bowl. But the temptation was there. I mean, it was. It was, it was right there. I mean, you got to understand. Solomon led the league in Yeagers. The people voted and paid to see the Yeager. Solomon is definitely gonna send a, uh, a check and a, and a letter to, to Westbrook because I, I definitely, definitely said Solomon Daniels will not Yeager in the Pro Bowl. It's about having fun and keeping everybody safe. But like I said, Solomon had 20 Yeagers. Led the league in big hits. That's why he got the votes. I mean, the pick six is of course and another touchdown for the AFC. They paid to see that as well. Two minute warning here in Hawaii. The NFC has the ball inside the 10. This has been their best drive so far. I mean, they have been really bad. Really, really, really bad. This is caught for a touchdown to Deion Branch. Oh, it's Plaxico Burris. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, Brady done did it again. Dog, we gotta get him to Denver. I know people hate TB12, but we gotta get this man to Denver, bro. Somehow, some way. It's 34 to 10 in the Pro Bowl, bro. Oh, D'Angelo Hall from the Atlanta Falcons with a kick return touchdown. Okay. So that's what 99 speed looked like, huh? Solomon ain't going to ever have 99 speed. I'm, I'm going to need y'all to, to let that one go. I'm going to need y'all to let that go. He's not going to have 99 speed, bro. Final snap of the first half, possibly the final snap of the game for Solomon Daniels. AFC did add a field goal to make it 37 to 17. And that pass is incomplete. Solomon Daniels' day more than likely done on defense at 37 to 17. Tom Brady bows out of the Pro Bowl with 279 passing yards and four touchdowns. 279 and four touchdowns. And now Peyton Manning is in the game and for some reason is calling audibles. It is the Pro Bowl, dude. Okay, you tortured the Broncos for two weeks, and now here you are making adjustments and doing all this audible stuff in an all-star game. You're a demon. You are a demon. I don't know what team eliminated you, but I'm so glad they did, because you're a demon. Although I would not mind if you come to Denver. I wouldn't mind that. Tom Brady is your MVP. That was obvious. That was obvious. Solomon's got one more play here. And this is caught! Michael Jenkins! What? They're going to go no huddle. Yep, knew it. NFC is going to go no huddle. Solomon's back in because I think we've got six DBs on the field. So Solomon's on that depth chart. They put him back in. And Hasselbeck. Throws back of the end zone. Michael Jenkins touchdown. Michael Jenkins with 102 yards and a touchdown in the Pro Bowl. Representing the Atlanta Falcons. And the two pointers no good. AFC wins it. 43 26 is your final score here in Honolulu. Solomon Daniels is 3 0 in the Pro Bowl. Never lost. Never lost an all-star game. But that was fun. It's always fun to play in the Pro Bowl, especially when you win the all-star game. I've got no problem with winning. That is the wrap of season four of the Solomon Daniels story. This brother out of South Carolina State is well on his way to the Hall of Fame. And I mean, if he keeps having seasons like the one he had this year, he will moonwalk in the Canton. Moonwalk in the Canton, I'm telling you. I am telling you, cannot wait for season five. Solomon is going to resign with the Broncos. We have to see which quarterback joins the franchise. I hope it's Brady. I hope it's Manning. It could be Carson Palmer. He's 99 overall in this mode. 99 overall. It could be him. It, it could be anybody worth the you know what. We are also guaranteed to get a new kicker. Doug James is gone. So all of that will be addressed when we begin season five sometime next week. But until then, it is your boy Five Wars Deke. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey and making Solomon Daniels a part of your day. One love.